go the Crusaders! <laughs> <laughs> I love all the street art that they put on the back of these walls in the buildings. Now, a friend of mine, Sarah, from Killy on the Loose, she loves this kind of stuff, so I just want to do a big shout out for her. But, I love how it's always changing around here. Like, all the buildings have like a different thing sometimes. But when we walk down here a little bit further, I'll show you a bit more, but... This street here, I actually remember coming down here with some friends of mine. This is going back in 2010, and it was like a coffee club down there where all the green mesh was on that building just down there. And everything like that. And it kind of actually freaks me out still. Just how much destruction is really actually happening. But, you know, um, as you can see, people are actually hard at work. And um, people are actually um you know and obviously this does create jobs for the local economy as well so it is in a way a good thing but in another way it's still really sad to see some of it like you can actually see there on the street that's still covered though yeah and that's still covered though yeah but you can see like you know they're still rebuilding but like the thing is you can never get your bearings around here i only sort of know that street quite well because of what um, because it sort of goes off, here we go, High Street, um, because it goes off on an angle, so it's the only way I actually know where we are, but, um, the only way I know is that, because usually I come never find a bearing around here. Sorry, I just cut you off. Yeah, you can't never say that you find your bearings around here, because you never can. Like if you go and say, oh yeah, let's go to that building. Nah, it doesn't happen because usually the next time you visit, that building might be gone. So, or there might be some bit something else there. So you can never, never get your bearings around here. I always actually swear by my GPS map on my phone because it's the only way I can find out where I am. But I love this one here too, and we'll straight up for Sarah. So I think somehow in the next, in the near future, I think that building's going to come down. But you can see here, like all the this obviously is a condemned building on the upper part now, but you can get an idea of what really happened. But almost at where I'm supposed to be. down to mums I just I just realized actually where I am so on the on that wall is an old is a mini Cooper on that wall but this actually used to be called Seoul Square and I've actually I'll show you all the pictures in the next segment of um, what Seoul Square used to look like so I still remember coming down here because there's obviously all the paintings are still here and oh, there's still like paintings on the wall just there sorry I'm really bad today with my but also, that gas shop there, that actually used to be owned by Dan Carter, the rugby player. So, you know, when you actually walk down here, um, and you see it, and you're like, oh my god, I actually remember this place. But, yeah. It's obviously another thing that I've just noticed. Street up to Sarah. Hey guys, so now I am at Mum's restaurant. It's on the corner of St. Ap it's St. Asaph and um, Manchester Street in Christchurch. I come here all the time, so it's really yummy here. Um, so today for lunch, I got sundubujige and um, some banchan, and um, I'm just gonna order a coke. So. Just Yogi-o! I'm just 
gonna order a Coke, so just give me a minute. I'm gonna order in Korean, so. Yogi of. A college is here? A college is here? Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm just ordering in Korean, so I just asked for a Coca Cola. But um, yeah, I'll just show you what I got. This is Sundubu Jigo, so it's a uh, um, hot tofu stew. I really like um, like Sundubu Jigo. And then I've got some ganchan, so I have some tofu, kimchi, some broccoli, and some mung beans as well. And then this is my cook. So that's what I got today. Um, I'll show you the price of that when I actually finish eating. And then, yeah. Alright guys, um, next stop, I'm going to go up to the memorial for the earthquake. Now I, do, I know I'm doing a lot of stuff on the earthquake, but I've never actually physically gone up there because I really ha haven't, um, I really actually haven't physically gone up there since, um, since I've actually started to come back, um, in 2014, but, um, I think now is I think now is the time to actually go back and I'll see it for myself and then we'll go up to the Carpool Cathedral after that. And when I actually go back, I'm gonna go down to Addington. Um gonna go down to Addington, a little haunt that I really love down at Addington. It's called the Miller Bar. And I'll take you guys down there. So um and we'll watch I'm gonna watch a bit of rugby and have a beer and stuff like that. So anyway, um off to my next stop. Hi guys, I'm back here now um, after my lunch at Mum's. So um, I'm currently sitting where the old CTV building used to be. So this is where um, Canterbury TV um, headquarters used to be. Now on February 22nd, 2011, 115 people here lost their lives. Now I'm not going to go into too much detail of what actually happened, but it was basically really bad engineering that actually was here and um, the building actually collapsed after the earthquake and 115 people lost their lives. There was many more trapped in here who did come out alive, but um, I'm just here now. This is the first time I've ever, ever actually physically stood here. And I'm just gonna say this, it is, I can't explain the words. I'm not gonna actually show my face because I'm gonna be upset that I know that. But when you come here, you just don't realize basically you don't actually re physically realize until you actually come here and see this of the destruction and you know the loss of human life basically it's actually really sad so it's actually really it's really you know it's really quite quite a you know it's a place here where you can go reflect on what's actually happened um i just want to say my condolences to the families who actually were um, who had people who tragically lost their life in this um, earthquake and um, especially in particular at this site as well so um, I just want to say my condolences to you guys and um, yeah but this here is the CTV building this is where it used to be so unfortunately if you've actually seen all the pictures and everything like that um, you would know how much damage actually did happen here and this was probably where the majority of people out of the 185 um, did lose their lives so it just shows you know it's the first time I've ever been here so until you physically actually have been here and seen it for yourself you just don't realize how much damage actually has been caused to not just to the entire Canterbury region but to people's families you know, people who, you know, and especially where there was a language school here in the, the same building and there was um, people here from South Korea, Japan, Israel and many other countries that came here to learn English and they tragically lost their life in, um, in this earthquake. So, so yeah, anyway, I just wanted to quickly show you this video, but, um, as you can see on that sign there, I just don't know if you can actually read it. I'm not going to point it out and I'm not going to step in the garden, so... But, yeah, 
it's kind of a little bit of a point at moment being here. I'm just going to go down here and as you can see there's three car spaces here. And they still have CTV actually written in the car spaces and that's kind of a little bit of a point at moment. When you kind of see this. three car spaces and they've both got CTV in there and that kind of actually you don't realise until until now what's actually happening. So anyway I want to take you guys across the road to the other memorial that's here and this is for the 185 that did lose their life in the February 27th earthquake in 2011. So we are now across the road at the other memorial, so the CTV building is just over where, where the CTV building used to be, it's just over there. Now here is, it's supposed to be a temporary memorial for the 185 people who lost their lives in the Christchurch earthquake in February 2011. getting a bit upset because you don't it's not until you actually physically see this is that you don't realize you kind of put it into perspective now but anyway um so for every chair that's here five months old when he lost his life so I just wanted to point out you know that I'm not doing this as a favorite place because I don't like being here as much as probably any other person and for all of my friends and family you know um, and people who I do consider my family who do come from this region you know I it's not until you physically be here and then you realize what's actually happened you know I've got friends who lived in their kitchen for five years after this happened and I'm just kind of grateful that I've actually been able to call Christchurch my home now, so my other home basically. So you can see now it's not it's not a happy place to be here. This is supposed to be a temporary art installation, but somehow I think it's going to be a permanent art installation. So yeah. Anyway guys, um, I'm just going to take you guys across the road again and that's the back of the cardboard cathedral. So I actually haven't been in there as well, but um, I'll show you that as well. But that's the chairs for the 185 guys, so 185 people lost their lives in February 22nd, 2011. guys it's Lauren here um, just letting you guys know I'm actually at the Mullabarra again as I said it's my pre my pre-game haunt to come here whenever I'm actually in Christchurch for the Crusaders games.